I'm sure a lot of you already know I have a full course, Extreme Singing, Distortion, Grit, and Screaming, uh, where I teach, I don't know, 20 different types of distortion. Honestly, it'll be a lot more than that because you can like experiment with the different types, mix and, and match different types, blend them together. But um, it starts with the basics. It starts with the foundations of it. And I want to show you what that is. So there are two different main types of distortion, like a compressed, which is much more forward, or a decompressed, which is much more open and bleeding the glottis of air by letting it open up and come back. Uh, some of you get that naturally when you're tired, especially where the glottis isn't the vocal folds. They're just not closing. So you're getting just that little bit of distortion. That's very natural. It's not bad for you. It'll dry you out faster than singing clean, but it's not, it's not gonna hurt you unless it hurts, unless you're pushing to make that happen. Now I can say there is more heaviness in the sternum, more weight in the sternum, more breast support to make distortion happen rather than just clean singing. But I, I wanna address the basics of it. Uh, some of you may have seen me explain before the idea of going between smoker's voice and a clean voice, hey. Hey, hey. That's smoker's voice though. Hey, 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 until you can start to mix the two, you know. But that smoker's voice is on top of the throat. It's not in the throat. The way you get to that is what I call the witch's cackle. Ah, that's a very, very minimal air from the top of the throat. So it's pulse. Ah, can you do pulse? Ah, but I lift it all the way up. Uh, and there's actually an easier way to do that when you think uh, quack pulse. So quack is like the extreme of twang. It's um, when you're getting compression is tilt forward to the larynx and then it, the acoustics are all moving forward to this really edging position. That's quack. Um, I actually use one way where you start with an ah and then lift the tongue to get in the way for it to become this nasal buzzing thing. Uh, so the tongue is narrowing the vocal tract, not direct control over compression. Uh, okay, try that with pulse. Uh, that pulls it all into the middle of the mouth. Uh, so you don't feel it in the throat anymore, it's actually in the mouth. Once you get it there, try to keep it there and reopen to an ah. Uh, yeah. And keep working on that. Now I go into this a little bit more detail in my course. I actually um, walk you through a whole bunch of different types of distortion, like I mentioned, and sometimes messing with those can help you get better at this. Uh, the idea is super light, super squeaky. Um, I talk about that in my straw exercise stuff where you get barely letting any sound out on the top end, which can help you extend your range too and has ex helped some of my distortion students extend, extend their range as well. But um, the main point being, it's almost closed. It's almost holding your breath. And just letting that come out right on top. So when you're going, hey, 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 that's all on top of the throat. And when you're going, hey, it's all on top and then out. Uh, in fact, a lot of that resonance is in the front of the mouth. That's more compressed forward, Ay! which is easier to do in chest voice. Uh, you can pull that up pretty high and open up cry vocal mode, open up the cry reflex like a parachute and get up to like, you know, like Lane Staley. Yeah, you know, that getting up there Ay! without it hitting the throat because you're in cry. Okay, I talk about cry in my straw exercise stuff too a little bit and some other videos on extending your range. My point being, it's lifted, it's up. And when you go more to the decompress where you're just bleeding the glottis, it's still up. So if I'm singing, hey, I feel that along the jawline, maybe in the hyoid a bit here, along the jawline, but only 20% of that is sitting here. The rest of it is a above, up and out, okay? So experiment with that, have fun with it. Get the witch's cackle down, ah, cause that gives you ultimate control over the type of compression you need for distortion and placing it here and above rather than in the throat and grinding.